This is why you need to understand the OSI model. Hi, I am Pankaj Sharma and I'll be your guide today as we break down the OSI model, the backbone of how your devices talk to each other using real life scenarios. Picture this, you're sending a letter to a friend. At the top, we have got layer seven, the application layer, which is like writing your message. Are you sending a postcard, a greeting card or a formal letter? That's your app deciding what gets sent, just like a web browser or email client does on, on, your, on, this, on your device. Layer 6, the presentation layer, steps in to translate your message. Maybe your friend only reads French? No problem. You translate it so they understand, just like an encryption device or a translator app ensures your data is readable and secure. Layer 5, the session layer, is like starting a phone call to agree. Hey, let's swap letters every Friday. It keeps the conversation going smoothly, similar to how a session manager on your computer keeps your communication sessions organized. Next, layer 4, the transport layer. Think of this as choosing how you want your letter delivered. Do you want the post office to guarantee it gets there? Or are you cool with it just being sent and hoping for the best? That's TCP versus UDP. In the real world, a firewall often operates here, making sure your data is delivered safely or blocking unwanted deliveries. Layer 3 is the network layer. It's addressing and finding the best route, like writing your friend's address on the envelope and letting the postal system find the fastest path. Here, a router is the real world device, making sure your data takes the best route across networks. Layer 2, the data link layer, is the mail truck, making sure your letter gets from the local post office to your friend's door, safe and sound. In networking, a switch works at this layer, directing data to the right device within your local network. And finally, layer 1, the physical layer, is all about the roads, wires, and even Wi-Fi radio waves that physically carry your message. Think of network cables or a Wi-Fi adapter. adapter. These are the real devices making the physical connection possible. So next time you send a meme or an essay online, remember there's a whole postal system at work seven layers deep with real devices at every step. Pretty cool, right?